So here we have the S658 it is a 132nd scale little RC truck. It's two wheel drive. They do make another model, the S638, which is this. It kind of looks like a cyber truck. I like the way it looks. It's from Wohua RC. But this one is this truck, but I do have the cyber truck. I'll be unboxing it later on this month. So watch for that video to come out, but let's get this unboxed, see what comes in. Then we're gonna take it out and run it around. So here you get your instruction manual and then you get a bag of parts, which just looks like a screwdriver. You get a USB charger. And then this little thing here is a, it's like a antenna, like a dummy antenna for your controller. It does come with a bunch of little road cones and also some barrels it looks like, but it has stickers, I guess, to put around the barrels. So you can set up a little obstacle course if you'd like. Here we have the truck. So this truck does have an LED underneath and it's supposed to like shine through the body. You should be able to see the light through the body. So we're gonna check that out. I'm gonna dim the lights and just see how bright it is. Here we have the controller. As you can see, that's where the little, the little uh, dummy antenna goes. You have your on and off switch here. You have a high and a low speed button right here. Oh, if you squeeze the trigger, I don't hear any clicking. Oh, uh, I think it's proportional throttle, but non-proportional steering. We'll check that out. Two double A's for the controller. On the bottom of the truck here, you do have your steering trim right here. Here is the compartment where your battery is. So before you can get started, so yeah, you have to, you have to plug the battery in. If you turn this on and it's not working, that's probably why you have to open this up, connect the battery, and then it should work. But it does come with a little 3.7 volt, 100 milliamp hour LiPo battery. So just plug the battery in and power switch is on. It's flashing because it's looking for the controller. Let's shove this right back in there. So there is no suspension on the front and there is just one single spring right there in the middle, but it is a solid axle in the back. Let's turn this on and check out the lights. Also, let's check out the speed button as well. So, oh, there, yep, it is proportional. So I assume I'm in low speed. Let's hit the speed switch. Oh, the LED underneath flashed twice, so that means you're in the higher rate once, low rate, high rate. Let's see if I can notice the speed change when I hit the button. Oh yeah, I can, I can hear a difference when I hit the change of speed. Let's check out the LED, see how, how bright it shines through the body. I'm gonna turn the lights down. So there, now that the lights are dimmed, you can see that the light does shine through the body and it would be pretty cool to drive it around in the house then, you'd be able to see it in the dark. Okay, enough playing around on the table. I wanna charge this up and then I wanna take it out. Probably take you with me back to work rip around in the shop and around the building in there. I was checking it out. I know exactly where I want to run this little truck. So let's go. All right, we're all charged up and let's turn it on here. Turn the controller on and we have a bind. I did mention how it is proportional throttle, but it is non-proportional steering. It's just all or nothing. So let's rip it around here in the parking lot. See how fast or how slow it is. Bounces around pretty good, but that's because of the no suspension in the front there. So every little bump, it's gonna pop up in the air. So this is the first rate and let's hit the speed switch right here for the high speed 
and let's see if that makes a huge difference. All right, let's, oh. <laughs> okay, so yeah, these little rocks and pebbles and stuff are uh, bouncing, making it bounce around a lot. Whoa. <laughs> so I'm curious to see what the runtime is on this with the 100 milliamp hour uh, LiPo battery that's included. Wow, <laughs> there we go back on the wheels that's always a good thing when you don't have to do the little walk of shame I think I'm in the oh no I was in the low rate <laughs> I, I hit the button and yeah it bounces around a lot so you're gonna need some smooth surfaces maybe I'll take you in and and run it on the smooth concrete inside the shop there but, oh, there it is, the walk of shame. All right, not much to this. You saw the different speeds. You also, I mean, that's it. It does need trimmed. It does seem like it's going to the one side a little more. So we'll adjust the trim. And uh, I wanna get a montage going before the battery dies. I'm not sure how long this little 100 milliamp hour LiPo is gonna last. You saw how it handles the macadam. Let's just go on a little adventure. <music> Yep. If you hold the steering too long, I think that's it. You can hear the clicking. It goes right back. The LED isn't even lit up. I mean, it's, well, it does light up every now and then, but it just, so that, that is it. So that was the S658 from Wohua RC. But a few good things and a few bad things with this. The good, let's start with the good. The good is the LED is pretty cool. The light shining through. You can drive in low lit areas or even dark areas and be able to see where your car is. And it just looks really cool. So that is a positive. The other positive is the battery life. The battery lasted for nearly 10 minutes. So I was kind of surprised that the 100 milliamp hour battery lasted so long. Also, it comes with the proportional throttle. So I do like that. It's at least proportional in the throttle aspect. And now we're gonna talk about the negatives of this truck, starting with the steering. The steering is 
non-proportional. It also does not have a tight turning radius. So when you turn it, it makes wide turns. So it does not make sharp turns. Also, without it having suspension on the front, if you're on rough pavement or anything where there's a little bit of stones, even cracks in sidewalks, the front end wants to bounce around. So that is a negative. The speed switch, I can't really say it's a negative or a positive. It does pick up speed when you hit the speed switch, but it's not a drastic difference. But I still did enjoy running this little car around and I can't wait to get into this one, the S638. I will be unboxing that very soon and getting it on the channel. It is the same exact chassis and everything else. The setup is the same. It's just a different body, but I do wanna see what this body looks like when it's all lit up. So that video will be coming soon. Now let's talk about the giveaway because I will put this in for the January giveaway. I think it is, it is good enough that I wouldn't mind giving this away. So if you want this to be the giveaway for January, then go ahead and smack that like button because at the end of January, the RC that has the most likes for the month of January is going to be the giveaway. All you have to do to enter is comment down below. Your comment is your entry. This is only limited to US subscribers. So if you are a subscriber from the US, then you are eligible to be in the giveaway and win. So your comment is only your entry for this vehicle. There's gonna be more coming up this month. This is one of them. I have a couple others that I have on the way. I only pull comments off of the video of the RC with the most likes. So whichever RC that is, that's where I'm pulling the comments from. So good luck to everybody who enters the giveaway. But that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But I hope to see you with the next Ready to Run RC.